Good evening, and welcome to the living world of darkness, a cross venue scene between the hunters and the kindred. Natalia has been having a well, shitty ish day, and well, some things she's been looking into haven't really gone up, and she needs she needs to relax and. She's looked up Rebecca. She was nice enough to invite her to that, well, albeit a little bit weird and wild Christmas party where suddenly there was like three, at least, well, two or three other kindred, which I'd say it took her by surprise, but still. And uh, yeah, she actually does really appreciate Rebecca for what she is. A person she could talk to, bitch to. If that is, she's currently having, um, you know, she has her normal bag with her, and she also has a grocery bag with uh, some treats, some snacks of different kinds. She just want to sit, bitch about things, and just relax. She's got more than enough on her plate at this moment. So uh, yeah, Natalia will just go up to her, and she'll just. Um, she will actually just ring the doorbell. She hasn't called ahead. That seems fair. So, as she rings the doorbell, uh, right about ankle height is a male slot. A little bit higher than ankle height, just below the knee, is a male slot. And uh, as she rings the doorbell, about two seconds later, the male slot just erupts with um, a cat paw that just, like... Seems to be trying to murder her through the slot. You know what I mean? Like, claws extended. Like, awfulness ensues at the male slot. And you hear the sound from within the house of uh, running feet coming down the stairs. As the cat at the male slot just attacks it. But it isn't long before Rebecca, um, the, the paw disappears. And, uh... Rebecca answers the door. There's a large tabby cat in her arms who is about twice its normal size, probably, and looking very disgruntled and trying to climb her shoulder. Um, yeah, and probably doesn't like Natalia for some. No. <laughs> um, but to just say, hey, uh, good evening. You doing anything? Natalia, hello! I'm so sorry. Milton is just in a mood today. Please come in. No, not at all. Come in. Let me, uh, I'm gonna put him in the other room. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, Natalia just walks in, just, you know, just looks around. She's been here before, but she just, uh, sits the bag down in the kitchen and will just, you know, walk around the living room. She'll just sit down. The room looks very different since the last time she was here, since Rebecca's, you know, put everything back, gotten rid of the uh, temporary carpets, that sort of thing. All the books are back on the shelves, there are little knickknacks and art on the walls again. Um, and Rebecca has disappeared briefly, but she returns shortly, minus the uh, murder cat, and uh, kind of stops in the at the bottom of the stairs and brushes her hands over her hips and says, do you want something to, um, to eat, to drink, tea, coffee? Mmm, sure. Uh, sure, but, uh, yeah, dealer's choice. Just make a double of whatever you're having. That's fine. All right, then. She grins and, uh, heads for the kitchen. The kitchen and the living room are, are connected. You can easily call back and forth between the two. Um, and she does. She she calls. How have you? How are you doing? How have you been? Oh, it's I'm, so good to I'm, see you. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm I'm okay. You know, how's the new year been so far? And we're not that far into it, but doing all right. Yes, I'm doing very well. It's been a busy year already, which can sometimes be very good thing. Yeah, well, that's good. How about you? 
Well, you know, I'm I work and uh, you know it's well, it's work, but mm, <laughs> in general I'm doing okay. It's just some things I would like to do. It's well I don't know, it's Do you ever have the feeling like you're trying to do something, trying to get something accomplished, and you feel like you're just running your head, head into a brick wall or something? I certainly know that feeling, with various degrees of urgency. Hmm. Usually when I'm trying to deal with the phone bill. Ah, uh, well, I, well, I don't actually think that's the sign to be very frustrating, but... No, it's like, uh, there's a couple of law firms in New York. I've, well, through different uh, channels, I've, shall we say, I've gotten wind of some, some things I probably think I need to look into, but, you know, they just feel creepy or suspicious to me, but that's far and they're squeaky clean. Really? Yeah, it's, um, I know this, like, probably sounds silly, but it is, uh, you know, it's a thing I have, just from my old uh, process days. That's a little scary. Uh, uh, why? The idea of law firms needing specially looked into? How do you mean? Maybe I misunderstand. Oh, well, I mean that I can, I can tell when people are really crooked and doing illegal shit. And they are probably in a position where they won't be stopped unless someone does something. Oh, <laughs> I don't mean it's creepy of you. I mean, it's, it's, that sounds alarming. It sounds like. Otis. <laughs> she uh, comes back from the kitchen with, uh, with two cups of tea and hands Natalia one. Do you want a blanket or anything for your knees? Uh, no, no, I'm good. So are you, now that you're here? Something of a uh, vigilante? I don't know why I'm telling you well, any of this. I just. just <laughs> Sorry, I guess that was probably a pretty awkward question. Yeah, no. And that's why I told. Well, that's why I actually said it sounds stupid because that's exactly what it sounds like. Deb, thanks for the tea. And you will see that she actually drinks from the tea. Mm hmm. It doesn't sound stupid to me. That's probably why I said it. <laughs> I suppose you would understand. New York is a strange place, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think you have really any clue. Probably not. But what I, mean, I do know is... Don't get me wrong, I just, you know, the bars I sometimes go to when I really have, well wanted to party, probably not bars you've seen before. <laughs> oh? Yeah, just, just a guess. <laughs> I'm, uh, believe it or not, not usually much of a bar fly. Eh, me neither. Well, you know, places I normally go, you can't really sit. It's just mm -hmm. like a giant mosh pit, a band, and like oh. beer everywhere. So, you know. <laughs> That's definitely not the sort of place I usually go. You are absolutely uh, right. Yeah, I thought so. I am a much more boring person than that, I'm afraid. Yeah, boring is good. Not sometimes. Can be. Hey, thank you for... Uh, thank you for... Uh, Letting me come in. I've I brought some food and some 
no crap. Do you um, do you want to? Uh, is it okay if I like just stay for a while or something? I. I would love that. Absolutely. I'm always here for company. I was. Uh, she kind of gestures towards the stairs. Um, Natalia's been up there. She knows what the upstairs rooms look like. Has she been up there? I don't think so. I think you're actually right. I don't think she's been up there. Um, so Rebecca says, uh, I'm working on a book. And I've hit a bit of writer's block. So your visit is saving me some frustration. Well, don't tell anyone I said that. I am, uh, your secret is uh, safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. So, mosh pits, huh? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Really, honestly. I mean, there is a reason for the look as well, so. Can I ask? Yeah, you know, back back on the west coast, I uh, had a band, actually. Well, kind of. I used to sing. Kind really? Of. Well, I'm again, it's stupid, but... That doesn't surprise me. You have a beautiful voice. You must be a stunning alto. Eh, well, you know, when I see singing, it's like fairly aggressive punk music, so it's probably more like screaming, <laughs> honestly, but thanks. Oh, I see. That's uh, not not what I was imagining, but I guess it should have been. Well, you know, it's just, yeah, but you, um, like, I know you don't come to places like that normally, but I'm uh, looking up some people and uh, probably going to maybe audition for something or just see if there are people playing. I mean, would you want to want to come at some point? Oh, if you were singing, absolutely. I would love that. I would love that. I don't mind uh, being out of my element a little bit. Okay, I mean, then I can get you, like, clothes or at least, uh, like, uh, update to the wardrobe to fit in, if you wish. I would definitely appreciate fashion advice before I come. Hmm. Well, I think, I mean, the person like you can probably, uh, you know, put a lot together. I, I don't think I would probably be able to pull off, you know, the full look. But I'm fairly good at not standing out quite as much if I have a little bit of warning. You know what I mean. It can be an art. Yeah. She smiles. So, what got you into all of that scene? Parents? Well, or... you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> no, try me. Uh, there. Really? Pretty much, yeah. It seems like it turned out pretty well for you. That's a good sort of good, good sort of dare. I suppose. I was at this Some... bar hmm? with like one of my two or three friends at the time, and we got drunk, and they say, "Well, I dare you to go up and sing for the band." And so I said, fuck him, took the bet, and I did it. And honestly, <laughs> I kind of liked it. That's yeah, <laughs> quite surprising, but hey. <laughs> That's amazing. Really? It is. I'm, I mean, yes, it is. I'm surprised that the band, you know, wasn't fussed and... 
some people just kind of have that kind of charisma. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Hey, well, again, like, the, the venue, so to say, was uh, pretty much... Uh, Casual? Yeah, work in progress, just, well, like, everything. The band was like, okay, so now there's another person. And they just <laughs> went with it. It's, yeah... That makes for an amazing story. I hope that you, uh, well, maybe this is selfish of me, but I hope that you go far with your music because I look forward to reading that someday. It's the backstory of... Yeah, no, no, it's really just a hobby. It just, I mean, if it got too bad, I wouldn't like the attention. Oh. No, like, you know, newspapers and stuff, like, yeah, no, I, I don't like that. It's, that's not good. <clears throat> I, uh, my mother was a politician. I grew up under, how to say it, the idea that you're always being watched. There's always someone watching. It sounds like a, well, actually quite wise woman oh yes she is <laughs> she's very wise about some things she's you know as we get old the world changes without us but <laughs> she's always had the strength of will to change at least a little bit to fit That's good. She, uh, fiddles with, um, her drink, kind of sips it thoughtfully, and says, That would be the third live show I've seen in New York where I knew one of the musicians. Okay, There's so you know, like, you know a lot of musicians, or? <laughs> Not a lot, but it's New York. <laughs> Sometimes you run into the funniest people. And there's really something about when you know the person singing it. It's very transcendent, I think. Even if you don't know them well. I suppose. Well, you know me very well, so that won't be a problem. Do I? Very well? I mean... I feel honored by the confidence. Yes, well, just going on, like, reference and well what others know you know a lot more than most people so. she kind of nods and shrugs I understand that I would say that you uh, definitely know more than most people about me I've been a little bit uh, burdensome I suppose Somehow I have a quite a hard time imagining it, but hey. <laughs> Well, you listened to me prattle pretty much at length while I spilled my guts last time. I really do try not to do that. I probably ought to apologize, but you're so gracious about it that I hey. haven't. If we can do it to each other, I think we're even. <laughs> Balance is important. Especially in this weird world. I 
tell me about it. It sounds like I don't have to. It sounds like you already know. Maybe more than you should have to, Drage. For a quick moment, there's like a little bit of like Natalia's eyes flicks a look to her. Shortest moments, but looks flicks back and just a, it's a little bit of hurried looks. And she just, mm, just settles down and just says, mm, well, you know, it's, I mean, yeah, I've seen some shit, I suppose. I understand. How's your, uh, well, let me know if you'd rather not talk about it, but how's your stalker? Left you alone, I hope? Well... The laws being different, yeah. Not as far, he's fucking off. Good. Oh, of course. No wonder you were looking into law firms. Yeah. Oh, no. I hope that's not a... Mm, uh, he's, uh, he's not... Um, he's not... Poor, let's just say that. Rebecca considers stalker. that. Kind of licks her lips. Very thoughtfully. Kind of scowling. That can make things very difficult. Quite, yeah, yeah, very, very fucking difficult. The sort of people with money and also the, uh, hmm, tenacity to, uh, stalk someone are often dangerous people. Quite. If you ever need a beard, let me know. A what? <laughs> a beard. A beard. It's someone who... Mm. Helps you hide. I thought helps... you were asking if I... Like, I was free to borrow your fake beard. <laughs> I was just curious for just, like, a moment or two. Uh, if you ever need to borrow a fake beard, I could probably find one. I don't no, I have don't, one. I don't think I'm in the market <laughs> right now. <laughs> Although it would ward off certain guys, I suppose. Uh, it would. It would definitely... Uh... No, a beard is someone, it's, they say it in the gay community, when it's illegal to be homosexual, you, uh, you know, you, you find a straight friend and marry them or whatever, and they're, they're your beard, they help you maintain a, a safe, private existence. Yeah. Another thing that should have been done with, away with for like, God only knows how long ago. Yes. Yes, I agree with you. So, um, you are uh, coming back? Uh, I mean, fuck. I mean, uh, didn't mean it like that. I mean, it's just. I mean, I enjoy your company, and well, it doesn't cost more in the club, so, I mean, I really, uh, I really do appreciate it, so, like, you've been quite welcome and open, and just wanted to thank you for it. <laughs> Natalia, it is my pleasure. 
I also enjoy your company. You're a very interesting young woman. I think you're very smart. I enjoy interesting smart people. You might have noticed. You'll notice that she just kind of just doesn't recoil, but she's like, she doesn't respond to that. She just kind of just nods and just, just get up, gets up. She doesn't walk out of the room, but she does just go around and just doesn't respond to your fairly honest compliment. She doesn't say anything, so she just begins to look at pictures and just begins to look around. Is she looking at the books? Uh, looking at the books, looking at stuff. If you didn't know better, you'd say she's trying to distract herself from what you just said. Mm hmm well, if she's looking very closely at the books, there is a uh, an amazingly broad selection of of books in many languages. Um, and some of them have really strange topics. There's a lot about folklore mythology, a lot about folklore mythology from all over the world. Um, some of them seem fairly dark, but, um, you know, there's... It's very light on the self-help. Didn't... I mean, it's an impressive uh, collection you have. But didn't you say you were like a political writer in international politics? Politics and religion. Are you uh, changing the subject? Did I... Did I make you uncomfortable? No, no, no. It's just uh, you know, I, there's, uh, there's a lot of books on folklore. Is that like what you said with religion, or is it like? Mm -hmm. She's going to roll that uh, manip sub. Uh, are we in a dice roller? I think we are in rolls one. I think is it that extra roller one? Let's just take. Oh, it looks like Saskia's in there though. Uh, only forty-five minutes ago. Let, let's do let's do a dash roller two. Yeah. Is that okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow, one success. Be right back. I'm going to turn on the light and grab my slippers. The sun started going down and got freezing in here. Is uh, Natalia going to roll against it? Nope. Well, okay. what is what are, what are you rolling? She's, she, Natalia said, you know, are these, all these books on the occult? Does this, uh, is this because you study religion? And Rebecca was like, oh yeah, yep, absolutely. That's 100% why I have all these books on the occult on my bookshelf. So that was her manip sub. Yeah, I'm going to roll perception alertness. Empathy. Yes. Perception empathy, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh... Yeah, Natalia fails. I got lucky. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, lots of mythical things. Lots of, I don't know about all of these things. Do you have, like, a favorite myth thing? Like, uh, like, I don't know, like, demons or, like, possessions or, like, what kind of, uh, kind of monsters do you like? Monsters. Who? What kind of monsters are my favorites? Chia sits back and kind of runs her own eyes over the bookshelves, um, concentrating on keeping her cool a little bit. Um, 
trying to figure out what she can say that's safe, because literally nothing is safe. I've always liked the idea of mermaids. Mermaids? Well, uh, yeah. okay, I mean, sure. It's, well, it's, I wouldn't call it a monster, like, what kind of, like, movie monsters do you like? like I mean, I myself, like, I like zombie movies a lot. Well, I used to, really. But it's oh, kind geez. of gotten, you know, a little bit too overdone. There's three successes this time, uh, as she glances away and says, Oh, I'm, I'm not very fond of zombie movies. Why not? Why not? Like it's it's fun. Like lots of stupid people get eaten, and uh, the world <laughs> country. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. They what? Like the world's going to shit, and a lot of stupid people get eaten, and a lot of zombies get shot. What's not to like? She uh, sets her her mug down. And uh, sits back, kind of sets her hands in her lap. Oh, you know, people getting eaten is very. It's movies. It's it's like a movie. It's like, I mean, like, the shit doesn't happen. And now it is Natalia's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca's rolling at the same time. She's going to roll both things. First, she's going to roll to see if her. First, she's going to roll her own manip sub because I'm going to put a higher diff because this is getting very, very hard for her. Um, she has one success, two successes at uh, manip sub, and now her P and E. I will roll against Sorry. that. Two successes. I have one success. Damn it. She has five successes to a uh, spot that you are well aware that you're lying. Yeah, and and it's like bad stuff like that only happens in the movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> bad stuff happens. Yeah. Um. Rebecca stops and uh, is going to look her right in the eye for a minute and she's going to say I'm not so sure about that that's why I like mermaids better and then she looks away um did I um well, I mean, right. <laughs> well, I mean, it's um okay. Yeah, it's fine. You don't like you don't like zombie movies. That's that's fine. New York is is full of weird things. I uh, I saw something in an alley once that it was it was very bad. Yeah. I mean, it's probably some drunk person or something. And he died, screaming. She gets up and uh, picks up her cup, and there's a, a tenseness to her shoulders. Um, she heads for the kitchen, and she says as she goes, <laughs> but it's not really the sort of thing that... I, I try not to talk about to talk about it. Sorry. I'm sorry to bring down the mood. You asked such a good question. No, no, no. I mean, when was this, like, what happened? I don't know what happened. It was a few years ago. I don't... She's lying now? She's going to uh, lie a lot. Lying a lot.
Three successes. She says, um, oh shit. Okay. Five. Shit. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So, um, as she turns away, she's, uh, she's clearly uncomfortable. And, um, She says, but the second time she says, I don't know, you realize that uh, she's not just stammering because she's like, because it's a horrible memory. She's stammering because uh, she's trying to figure out what she can say. Um, well, and she says, yeah. mm -hmm. sorry, go ahead. Well, you know, uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring any, like, let's just talk about something else, okay? And uh, by the way, it's also late. I really should be, uh, like, um, uh, what, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Clearly, Natalia is also somewhat flustered. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, we could talk about lawyers, unless. Well, rather not. I understand. Let's not talk about lawyers. So, how's the rest of your New Year's? Oh. Pretty, pretty standard. Just not, uh, you know, not much, too much progress, really. But, uh, you know, it's actually boring. Uh, just <laughs> things going nowhere. Um, what? How's business? Well, business is good, actually. I've seen a few of your ads. Someone's doing very well on... Sophie. She nods. She's the best. I keep telling her. <laughs> it's good to have those people in your life. I can't really call them my friends, but... Well... No? No, they're my colleagues. Even though I'm... been thinking a couple of times of doing something really fucking stupid... <laughs> Are you talking about romance? Yeah, my other, call it well, employee, Rose. I mean, she's a liquor, but I don't know. It's just, it's weird. So, yeah, I'm not certain. She's a bit of an airhead, but. Hmm. <laughs> well. That doesn't disqualify someone from being a good and valuable friend. I know. <laughs> or yeah, it just feels wrong. A wonderful maybe. lover. Well, and fun. have this quite like superior position over her, and ah, uh, that's no, yeah. that's very important to keep in mind. That's a good point. Yeah, it's really fucking stupid. I should be considering it, but here we are. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks. Going to need it. I hope not too much of it. I hope that everything sorts itself out. It will. I'm sure it will. Look. Like I said, you're smart. You've got a handle on it. Yeah, well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> because you... Just before, you stammered. I mean, is this, like, really hard for you? Like, did something really bad happen? Was it to you? I... I don't want to make you uncomfortable or anything, but I have to know, like, what happened. Because by the way you stammered, I mean, something's off. 
she's fairly quiet. She uh, doesn't say anything as she adds sugar to her teacup. Kind of slowly and carefully picking her words. I shouldn't have been there. Yes, it was very bad. I heard someone I heard someone make a noise and I thought they might be in danger. So I walked into the alley and there was a man being murdered slowly and slowly with their bare hands I couldn't stop it Natalia comes over, a bit hesitant, but goes in for a hug. She actually, um, Rebecca is normally, you know, normally just so open and so huggy and so, like, easy to hug. But as she talks about this, she has, like, the, she has, you know, fairly strong arms. And the knot, like, the muscles in her arms are, are clenched into, like, knots, right? Like, you're pretty sure that the reason that she set her teacup back down again is that she um, is probably shaking. Almost like it wouldn't necessarily be a good idea to hug her right now, but if Natalia is brave and goes in for it, she's stiff as a board for a minute, and then she starts to, to make herself relax. You'll feel that the places where Natalia's skin is touching, she is somewhat cold. For dramatic convenience, I think mm -hmm. Daya has just forgotten certain things. So Rebecca starts to relax, and then there's just kind of a flinch for a moment. Um, yeah, she flinches. And then she goes, My God, Natalia, you're freezing. Let me get you another blanket. Oh, no, 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 I just, uh, I just have uh, cold hands. It's fine. And uh, she just shakes her hands and just does a thing with her fingers and spends a blood point. She just, like, warms them up and just goes... Mm -hmm. just, like, no, no, it's fine. And she will just put her hands on it, and they will be somewhat warmer. No, it's it's fine. It's nothing. It's... I ruined it again. Uh, look, just relax. <laughs> fast well if you if you get cold if you if you're cold I'm more than I have n more than enough blankets no I, I can't I, I don't get cold it's it's fine she pauses for a second and glances at her and then nods and then she reaches up and and kind of wipes the hand over her face Anyway, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes weird things happen. Sometimes they're just the most awful thing you've ever seen in a lifetime full of fairly complicated awfulness. Have you seen other weird stuff in this, in the city after it? New York is full of weird things. She smiles. Kind of a tight smile. Kind of... It's it's tight and it's kind of gentle, you know what I mean? Like... Natalia just begins to walk backwards. Rebecca turns away and uh, goes to the fridge to get milk out. You know, it just happens. There's all kinds of people in New York. Natalia doesn't say anything. She's 
getting her bag with the computer in it. Just pass it over her shoulders. He's looking at you. Head comes back out of the fridge as she goes to pour the milk and she stops. She glances at Natalia's bag and uh, puts the kind of blinks and puts the milk back down. Um, She should probably roll for this because this is an innocent act that she's working very hard at. She'll spend some willpower on this because this is super important to her. She did. Good thing she did. So she has one success. Four. Uh, to act like she's entirely innocent and uh, has no idea that. Uh, <laughs> Polish that halo. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> wow! It's even. It's even. Thank God I spent the willpower. Um. Yes. So Rebecca says. Did I say something wrong? Uh, Are you leaving? Uh, no, no, it's just, uh, no, it's it's fine. I just. If you need to, if you need to go, don't let me stop you. But I. No, no, it's it's fine. It's just you hear so many stories at the city, and you know, I just get spooked. You know, I mean, it, I I sometimes believe in like conspiracy things and stuff. It's, it's just stupid. Like, it's fine. Um, there are plenty of conspiracies in New York. You're not wrong to believe in conspiracies, but... Please know that I... I mean you no harm. As she says that last part... You get that look from Natalia. She just looks at you for a couple of moments. Her eyes narrow a bit and then relax and she says, I know that. She doesn't sound convincing when she says, I know that. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Rebecca turns and, and puts the milk in the fridge and she says, uh, sorry, this is a very important moment. So I have to get it right. Um, She's going to say the cats don't seem to like most of my guests and uh, it's never stopped me but you're always welcome here. Again, you will see it. She, she just narrows her eyes, looks to the left, to the right, looks at you. And please don't make me regret that. Uh, you will see nothing hostile. Well, you will see, you've seen this before. Just in her right eye, there is a solitary tear, but it's a tear of blood. Oh, how far away are they? How many steps would it take Rebecca to get to Natalia? Uh, not many. She doesn't okay. seem to. She just. She's tensing up. She looks if, more like some animal caught in like by a hunter. Ha ha ha! Very fitting uh, <laughs> for the uh, situation. But if Rebecca started walking towards her, like she with... just tenses up and begins to move a little bit backwards. And as you're getting closer, she just fr- frantically just tries to hide her face. Just puts a hand over her and she, uh, just give me a, a moment. Um, I'll I'll be. Um, I'll. Uh, I'll Natalia, I'll... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know. Of course. You know. I know now. I. I had a guess, but I. Fuck. You're not the first. Well, fucking <sighs> shit. Uh, that's Can what I, I gathered the last five or ten minutes. And the cat reference, of course. But 
and you're st how can you be okay with it? like how the thing that I saw in an alley was not anything like like you it was nothing like you it was two people tearing a man apart with their bare hands not not a I don't, well spoken I, I young really, woman. really don't want to hear it I hope you understand I I fucking crying and she just just moves over and finds some tissue paper <laughs> just begins to oh, fucking you know the like and she she just grumbles and is pissed off it seems <laughs> that she has to clean herself <laughs> just why am I fucking crying you would you would actively actually allow me to come into your home again like I I've known some very bad people in my life and I don't think you're one of them I was expecting when the first time this actually happened, people would sh like fucking end me, like in a split second. And here I am, and you're still being nice to me. I. Uh, My life has been a little bit complicated. It's been. I think I can understand, yeah. You don't know that. I cannot talk about any of this, right? And that's essentially putting myself and everyone in danger by talking about it. Rebecca pulls a very deep breath and uh, pushes her her hands through her hair. Um, and she nods and says... Yes, I am more afraid that you know that I know than I am that you will come in my window some night and I don't know, whatever it is that you do. Don't, that you will not have to worry about. I appreciate that. And so the things I've done that they're really shitty but if and she actually turns to you and just looks at you I've never killed anyone and I'm trying really fucking hard to make sure that that will never happen Rebecca's going to uh, reach out and offer her a hand and there are shitty people that may not be like me, but are just normal people that would do really f shitty things to a lot of people and they need to go to prison. Those like hurt, but do not kill them. And they get justice as they deserve. Maybe if I do it enough, it will come, it will help with the fact that I have to fucking, well, I suppose you know now, so. I've tried very hard not to ask questions. Thank you. I mean, of, of any of you. That I have met. Of anyone with cold hands. I think they appreciate that. It makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. And she hugs you. Thank you. 
Rebecca hugs her back, and this time the uh, the tension just kind of like it really eases. Like when she hugs her back, it really eases and and just kind of softens to a very gentle warmth. No, she holds the hug and she just stands there. Just, she's the first person who is not like me who's will have to talk with, and who are and are still. Here we are, hugging like two idiots, and... <laughs> yeah. She, um... Her arms tighten briefly, and she says, I don't know much, and I can't imagine what you have gone through. But I honor... I honor your... the things that you're trying to do. Thank you. No, thank you. And I well, mean, I and suppose I it, wish you good luck. Well, I suppose it also it's only me, but I suppose you think you might have an idea why I have the business I have. That time, she's going to roll. She's going to roll to try and not be surprised. That's a thing that she uh, hadn't hadn't occurred to her. Well, it kind of had occurred to her, but to have it confirmed, I think, is very surprising. But she has three successes not to... Uh, not to yeah, at, at this point, Natalia's is not going to look for it. Yeah, that's fair. She just, she just says, well, it's fucked up, and I know, but yeah. People don't doesn't bother them? No. It doesn't. Again, I'm saying too much and I'm probably going to get myself killed. It's the opposite. And that's why it's so easy to hide. But I built that business. It's be the express purpose that I have medical supplies, I have things to, and staff that can help, and no one will get hurt. No one will see anything, no one will know anything. It will be good, it will be clean, it will be dealt with. So I didn't have to do as some other people that I think I've heard of do, and kill. I can't believe I'm telling you this. Jesus. I could not respect you more right now. Thanks I've known very dangerous people in my life and very few who have gone to such efforts to... Don't get me wrong. Like Sometimes I get pissed and some people really need to be gone after. I'm not like... Again, if I was just some pussy, I mean... It would be bad for me, image, I suppose. But. There is no good except that there are those to defend it. I don't I think I believe you for defending the things that you believe in. Yeah, but about the thing itself, it's it is quite an ecstasy, actually. Oh. Yeah. That I wouldn't have guessed. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but with you and probably I know, a lot of things don't make a lot of sense. <coughs> Almost nothing makes sense some days. Until it makes all the wrong sense, it seems like, sometimes. Like when right now. Conspiracies. Yeah, like right now. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and in a way it does. Look, thank you. I really mean it. And I'm sorry about freaking your cat and all that. Oh, he's used to it. Hmm. I suppose. I really <laughs> mean it. Like, if I'm around, if I call, 
I can I can come in and we can hang out. I mean it. And my promise is this. I do my absolute best to make sure that this place is safe for whoever comes. Man, am I glad I've met you. You don't know, you've just made my year. My new year has just become so much better in so many fucking ways. She gives her another hug, and it's it's incredibly tight this time. Just a brief, fierce squeeze. That is important to me. I can't believe that I'm trying to hold back tears again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll keep messing um, around. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> eh, I think I'm done by now, but it's... Yeah. Um, but I do... I don't want to bother you too much more. Uh, I'll yeah. be in touch, okay? Yes. Yeah, now if I... Good luck. Yeah, and, well, you know, if I don't reply to your text during the day, I suppose you can understand why. <laughs> yes. So many I weird will... jokes. I really fucking shouldn't be joking about it, but here I am. <laughs> Some idiot. I will. Good luck. Be careful. Same to you. And, and you can always call me. Oh, I will. I'll, I'll see you later. She nods and the walks her out. Yeah, I know. Like, shell-shocked? Mm -hmm. We'll just, like, stand there and just wave at her a little bit indecisive, just not really knowing what to do, and then she will begin to leave. Mm -hmm. Rebecca waves back, kind of gives her kind of a, like, it's kind of a cheeky grin, like, <laughs> she feels your pain. She doesn't really know what to do either. And then she closes the door very quietly and steps back away from it. And as Natalia heads down the street, Rebecca stares at her door for uh, several minutes, and then she goes and finds some cats to cuddle for a while. And with that, the scene will come to a close. Thank you very much, players for playing and watchers for watching. Good night.